In my previous video, I had no problem with my microcontroller generating an interrupt when a falling edge is detected, which is nothing but pressing on a push button. Of course, this was not the case in my first trial. So what's happening over there? And how could I fix this problem? To answer these questions, without any delay, let's start our video. As I had promised, in this video, I will be talking about the circuit I used for triggering falling edge event by the microcontroller. Although it seems simple, let's see what the theory tells us. When connecting this circuit to a GPIO pin of a microcontroller, the controller will read 1, as long as the push button is at its normal state. Once the push button is pressed, the GPIO pin will be short to ground, so the microcontroller will read logic 0. Of course, using a relatively large pull-up resistor is a wise choice, since while the push button is pressed, the current will flow directly from the power source to ground through the pull-up resistor. So, as Ohm's law tells us, as the resistance increases, the current flowing through it will decrease. Unfortunately, there is nothing perfect in this world, so let's hook up the oscilloscope probes and see what's happening in reality. For the time being, let's remove this shunt capacitor and see what happens on the oscilloscope screen when pressing on the push button. This explains the misbehavior of the relay driver circuit when the shunt capacitor was not connected. Since in this case, the microcontroller will detect multiple falling edge events at one shot. And of course, this is not desired. The mistake I have done is that I considered the push button as a perfect switch, but it's not. Since the connection is not established at the moment, I press on the button. But the button internal metallic structure takes a bit of time to come to a stable state and does what it's supposed to do. This phenomenon is called bouncing effect. So how could the capacitor solve the problem? Well, we all know that there are evil spirits and magical force hidden right in between the plates of the That was pure bullshit, okay? What the capacitor actually does is that it slows down the voltage level transaction speed since the voltage doesn't go to zero instantaneously across the capacitor. Now, let's connect the capacitor parallel to the push button and observe the oscilloscope screen. As we have seen, now the circuit output is stable, so it can be connected to a microcontroller GPIO pin. This method is called switch debouncing. Beside the hardware solution, there is also a software solution and it has several algorithms that can be implemented. One way is to wait after the interrupt occurrence for at most 10 milliseconds since there can't be a creature on this planet that can press a button at this short time. This brings me to the end of this video. In my next video, I will build a short circuit protection circuit. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Remember that your support is the only thing that keeps this channel active. Let me know your feedbacks in the comment section below and see you next time.